Hey guys, so I am back with another tutorial on how I did those amazing two-tone ombres. I, I call them three-tone, but they're really two-tone because it's only two ombre colors under there. Um, on how I did these, they're large, but they're kind of like jumbo large. I don't know. I can't really explain, but here we go. I'm going to show you how we did it. So just stick with me. So we do have our own precision combs. They're... um. <clears throat> We have wooden precision combs that we also love for our square parts, and especially our triangle parts. But I could not find them today, and I was trying to get this video going. So we also use those other precision combs that you that I just showed you. So I'll put the link below for those, for both, actually. <coughs> I cannot believe I just cleared my throat in this video. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, my same technique with the knotless. Stand, keeping your hands close to the client's head. You don't have to braid tight, just braid in place and keep everything super close together. As you can see, I haven't started braiding down. My positioning is still the same. I'm braiding in the same position until I'm ready to start braiding down. So see how far I go? That's how you keep the consistency in that braid. Don't rush it. Now I can start braiding down because I have full control of the braid. <clears throat> you can also see I'm tucking her hair. You just put a little umbrella over the client's natural hair, and that's how you tuck their hair. But again, you have to take your time, use product if needed, and really just umbrella that braiding hair over the natural hair. As you can see, her hair is completely tucked, completely tucked. So here go. I'm just parting the front. I guess I'm going to just let y'all watch for a second. None of this is that serious.
I think I should start talking now. So I've gotten to a point, you see these braids are falling in between each other. And <clears throat> you can just see me executing this style. Like I'm killing it. The hair is tucked. The braids are full all through the braid. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to show y'all a clip of how we did the ombre. Look how the braid is flat, her hair is tucked, everything is just super proportional. The parts are stupid neat. My jam is stupid stick. And look how my jam is going. Y'all have to buy this jam. Like you have to. I'm gonna leave the link below for the jam. Oh, I should have edited this part out. Up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, this is us doing the ombre. As you can see, you gotta braid down some, then you start adding in. Because we're doing three-tone, we want to make sure we add that first color immediately. So that could be the middle color. Because we're doing hip length. So we're adding the hair in. And yes, it's going to be kind of difficult. And yes, the colors are going to like mesh together in the middle. But once you get down to a certain point and you add enough of that platinum blonde hair, you can start tucking that other, that other color in. Like, see, she's starting to tuck that 27 in so you don't see it. This the science of writing. And that's how you're going to get that ombre effect with that platinum blonde, you know, for some ways in between there. See that? And then as she braids down, she's going to start tucking the platinum blonde hair with the 27 so the 27 can be on the tips. It's all a science, baby. You got to know what you're doing. You got to know what you're doing, honey. You have to. So that's why I'm teaching you guys how to do ombre. Your clients are going to love these little funky styles. If you could do them in this size, they won't take all day. You don't have to do them small. Learn the jumbos. Learn the larges. That way y'all can make y'all money. Y'all can charge $250 plus for these jumbo large styles if they all neat and executed properly to where your clients can wear the styles for two, three months. If you give your clients that type of work, they're going to pay. That's how y'all going to make money. So check this out. As you can see, you see all platinum blonde. It's the middle color. So we got a good ombre effect coming there. Now, is she adding that 27? No. Okay, she's still going. Because keep in mind, we're doing hip length, so they're pretty long. So the braid, you see how full and chunky the braid is all the way through the braids? They're not skimpy. They're not thin on the ends. That's how people like their braids. Okay, so now we're adding 27 in there. So pay attention. See how we're adding the 27. Of course, the colors are going to mix at one point because it's too hard to tuck. That platinum blonde hair is too thick. But as we come down, because we're doing hip length, as we come down and that platinum blonde gets thinner, we will now umbrella that color 27 to tuck in that platinum blonde hair like you'll be tucking your client's natural hair and you won't even see it. So the tips will be completely 27 and that's how you get that three-tone effect. I cannot wait till y'all see the end. When y'all see the end, you'll see all the, oh my God, it's so beautiful. We killed this style today. So, yes, you can see that platinum blonde is getting thin. So, you got to tuck it behind that 27 so the 27 can be that bottom color completely. Now, when you're adding goddess, you just add it in like you'll be adding hair for ombre or you'll be adding hair to make the braid full. You just have to make sure that you braid it in there completely. You just add it in there, braid it in there completely for at least like an inch and a half just to make sure it's secure. See, she's making sure it's secure. She added in a long time ago. When you get to your destination, grab some of that expression hair, wrap a nice couple knots around there, make sure it's secure, and then dabble a little piece of glue on there, on that knot, and of course, put in enough of that goddess hair so it's, you know, it matches the braid. So now, you cut that expression hair off, and you add glue to that knot. I don't know if she added glue already or she does it after. Maybe she does it after. Okay, she's doing it now. So you can either add glue and cut it. I, I think you should cut it first and then add glue after. Because if you add the glue and then cut it, sometimes it can mess up your scissors. Because, I don't know, you'll get overwhelmed and that glue will get on the scissors and it'll mess it up. So I'm going to let y'all enjoy the rest of this video. I just explained that part and I think I'm going to just let y'all enjoy. Because sometimes y'all say I talk too much. But okay, bye.
All right, guys, so we're on the final stretch. I am struggling with these edges, and I use that mousse to lay edges because our edge control is so bomb that it really holds in place. So I use my mousse, mousse to, like, act, reactivate it so I can move it around. I really try with this girl edges. Thank God she has some nice hair and nice edges because... <laughs> and the braids look bomb, so even though her edges are not laid and slayed like they should, that's on me. The braids look good, <laughs> and that's on me, too. Look at those parts. Oh, my gosh. Look at those parts. Look at how neat those braids are. Oh, yeah. Let's focus on the edge control. I forgot that quick. Wow. It's even worse on this side. What's wrong with me? Oh, my goodness. I really tried. It's because I don't be wanting to yank on their edges when I get when I do that swoop. And it's like you got to bring it back. I don't be wanting to pull on the edges. That would be the problem. So, but... It just looked good enough. I tried to use the comb on the end, see if it could change something. And it did a little bit. But I just don't be wanting to yank on those edges. That is literally it. But yes, it, it was it was good enough for what I needed it for. Look, pictures look bomb on the end. And they are coming up in five, four, three, two. <gasps> oh, these braids look so freaking good she did not expect them to look this good she was like oh my god they look look at that and you see i dipped them high so they could be loose and flow look how they're flowing they're not stiff look how they're flowing like weave oh my god look at those parts you guys gotta buy my jam now this brand of hair is all my brand from the curly hair to the ombre hair to all the add-in hair i'm getting my website together so you guys can buy this hair so in the meantime um on the last post, I put all the hair info, but I'll put it in this post too. Just so y'all can, this is the hair that you can use in the meantime. Because my hair is not on my website. But I do have hair on my website that you can buy, but it's not my brand. It's like normal expression. Oh my gosh, these braids are so cute. I got. I think I'm going to get these in twists, but I'm going to get them small. Yeah, and I'm going to get normal C parts. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys for watching.